to Range Your Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Blackstone River Valley National Historical Park. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Fact number one, Blackstone River Valley National Historical Park is the only national historical park located in the great state of Rhode Island. Fact number two, the Blackstone River powered America's entry into the industrial age. The success of Samuel Slater's cotton spinning mill in Pawtucket, Rhode Island touched off a chain reaction that changed how people worked and where they lived and continues to reverberate across the nation to this day. Fact number three, William Blackstone from 1595 to 1675 was the first English settler of the Blackstone Valley. He built his home along the river that now bears his name in what is now Cumberland, Rhode Island in 1635. Number four, along with being an Anglican minister and a colonial pioneer, Blackstone was also an amateur botanist, cultivating the first strain of apple in the New World, the yellow sweetening apple. Fact number five, America's first textile mill could have been built along practically any river on the eastern seaboard, but 1790, the forces of capital, ingenuity, mechanical know-how, and skilled labor came together at Pawtucket, Rhode Island, to where the Blackstone River provided the power that kicked off America's drive to industrialization. Fact number six, the lifestyle changes that happened to these new mill workers were dramatic, and they were mostly to the Yankee farmers. On the farm, the seasons and the sun governed the workday. Once in the mill, the rhythm of nature was replaced by the tolling of the factory bell. Fact number seven, as larger mills were being built over the 1800s, new workers were needed to fill them. Immigrants from Ireland, Canada, Italy, Portugal, Poland, and Latin America flooded into the valley in successive waves. Each added their own unique culture to the story of the Blackstone Valley. Fact number eight, the Blackstone River travels about 48 miles from its headwaters in Worcester, Massachusetts to Pawtucket Falls in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. During Blackstone's journey, it drops 438 feet, about nine and a half feet every single mile. The river's steady drop makes it a great source for water power. Dams were built across the river to squeeze that drop into a single waterfall at a single point. Fact number nine, by the mid 1800s, the Blackstone River and its tributaries were home to over 100 mills and mill villages, making one of the busiest industrial areas in the United States. Fact number 10, the Blackstone River is now home to more than 20 species of fish and aquatic mammals like beavers and river otters. Snapping turtles and a variety of birds have also returned. Once America's hardest working river, today the Blackstone River is a place of recreation, reflection, and renewal. Well everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to always know to post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again and I shall see you next video. Bye!